नमस्कार गुड मॉर्निंग राम राम यू आर वाचिंग अवर चैनल एसी एस्ट्रो एंड वी आर डूइंग द सीरीज ऑफ नक्षत्र एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डू वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट नक्षत्र दैट इज थर्ड नक्षत्र कृतिका नक्षत्र सो लेट्स वेलकम आकाश जी फ्रॉम कैलगरी कैनेडा आकाश जी नमस्कार थैंक यू रोहित जी नमस्ते नमस्ते I hope everything is good with everyone who's watching the video. So Rohit ji, today we'll talk about Kritika Nakshatra. Kritika Nakshatra is the third nakshatra in our constellation, and it's a very important nakshatra because it is ruled by Agni Dev, and it is the nakshatra of desire with the symbol of Kama, desire. It it you know when we say to some athletes or some people that there is fire in him, like he is he is full of fire and josh and full of energy this is because of kritika nakshatra now the deity is agni dev that is fire the symbol of this nakshatra is axe or sharp weapon we will talk about it right we will talk about it later this is just a snapshot and the power it has the power to burn and its quality is mixed sometime it is very ugra that means very very aggressive sometime it is very mild okay and lord is sun as we can see like agni but agni devta is a very different god and surya devta is a very different god surya resides here in this nakshatra and agni devta is the deity of this nakshatra so there are two different things but yes agni devta also has powers from surya because surya has very fierce rays which agni devta has taken and he also has fierce rays so now let's talk about how and why agni devta was born very important if you want to know about nakshatra about the nature of the nakshatra and why this nakshatra and how this nakshatra acts for us we have to first know that how this nakshatra was formed or how the deity of the nakshatra was given this constellation okay so the story is that rishi kashyapya that is who is also known as the son of brahma he was a great great saint and the wife of rishi kashyap that is aditi she was in deep penance deep tapasya to take a boon from lord Shib, lord vishnu and that boon was that she was not able to conceive a child and she wanted a son so she did lot of meditation for so many years and lord vishnu got happy and came to her and said ki what do you want she said i want a son and she was like okay. he was like okay and you and the the condition she put that i want a son as powerful as you so vishnu devta he came into lot of confusion that oh how can i give someone who is has the same power as me but then he said that you know what i will give you a son and it will be my incarnation and my vamana roop and that is how vamana avatar was of lord shivnu was born from mata aditi so when vamana was born he was taken care by sage kashyap and his wife aditi as vamana grew up he became to known for his in- incredible intelligence and spiritual power <clears throat> and one day he told that to aditi and to kashyap uh, his mother and father that why don't we do sacred fire ritual to invoke god of fire agni dev and they said ki yeah this is a very good idea because agni is present but there is no representation of agni yet so like you know the planets were present the the celestial body were present but there was no representation of nav grahas that is how lord shiva and lord vishnu and lord brahma they created nav grahas different different um deities for the planets so when kashyap and aditi performed the yagna as instructed agni dev appeared before them in form of a child vamana then really revealed that he was none other than lord vishnu and agni dev was his own fiery energy so because vamana avatar was very calm and very composed he wanted agni dev the same avatar of vishnu that means whenever you see any kind of fire or light or any havan that fire coming out is vishnu dev it's sakshat vishnu dev so that is why we should never disrespect fire or any sacred fire which is a, a yagya or a or a havan or homam which we say in western world now it is believed that agni dev was born from yagna fire and he became one of the most powerful gods in hindu mythology he had the power to burn he had the 
he was worshipped by hindus for his transform transformative power like from with such a small uh what do you say spark he can turn into the biggest fire ever possible and he is often invoked during the sacred fire rituals to bless and purify the devotees so whenever there is a sacred ritual happening we use fire candle you know for for all the uh, churches we, we do candle and for any uh, hindu sacred uh, ceremony we use uh, yagna yagya and that is where we use fire now according to hindu mythology there is one more underlying story here that agni dev the god of fire was given the kritika nakshatra as his abode of ruling constellation before because kritika nakshatra is associated with the element of fire okay the the nakshatra was already present agni dev was given that nakshatra the kritika is the third nakshatra in the sequence of 27 nakshatras and one hidden nakshatra that is um abhijit nakshatra but yes and it symbolizes by a razor or flame this nakshatra is believed to have qualities of sharpness intensity and purification which are all associated with fire so we have to understand that people born in ashwini nakshatra are very aggressive but they are as calm as they are aggressive so it's a very balance between the people born in ashwini nakshatra sometimes when they are aggressive or when they get angry they are like no one can stop them but same way like how fire also gets down and gets cooled down same way uh, the kritika nakshatra people are of the same nature now here we have all seen that this is the way that how kritika nakshatra looks like we call deity is agni the symbol is knife or blade the planet ruling is sun the purushartha is kama desire the gana is rakshas demon and we i also add here that agni devta is a brahma rakshas okay very very important to understand that he is a rakshas right demon but he is a brahma rakshas that means he is a brahman but he has so much fierce energy in him and he is from the rakshas gana that is he is a brahma rakshas and very brahma rakshas uh, it's a very very big theory of brahma rakshas so some people who are very much uh, i heard this from uh, kn rao sir with some people who are very devoting devotee of god and they are brahmins and they have never uh, they they were janayu and all that and if they are in any un, untimely death they go into un, untimely kind of uh, death then they become brahma rakshas or they become brahma atma okay they are wandering as a brahma atma they have a lot of power in them but they will never cause any harm same way like fire if you play with fire you will it will cause harm but otherwise it will never cause harm to you the element is prithvi the trimurti the the lord shiva no lord shiva plays a very big role for this nakshatra because yeah. i will tell you the story ahead that how lord kartike was born and how he was told that uh, kritika nakshatra is so important because he had to kill a demon we'll talk about it now animal is female goat because uh, in hindu culture or in in culture related to a lot of tantri tantric tantrism a uh, female animal goat is used as a sacrifice or or goat not female goat but goat is used as a sacrifice but the quality of goat the quality of a goat is also sacrificed sacrificial by nature it sacrifices a lot of thing for raising its kids with which also i will talk in the next slide the bird associated with peacock because she is the vahana peacock is the vahana of lord kartikeya kartikeya plays a very important role in this nakshatra lord kartike the tree is fig tree because fig tree also nurtures and it 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 uh, increases desire in your body and all the desire which body has of vitamin and so many scientific uh, protein and elements and fiber the fig has lot of things to offer to us and the sounds are a e o a again these is these are the bij sounds now let's go into detail of each and thing that why the symbol and everything exists and how it is important so kritika nakshatra is associated with agni the vedic god of fire agni is the deity of the sacrificial fire okay remember it is not that that agni wherever there is fire no it is sacrificial fire so whenever the priest or the pandits they sit and they start a fire there there is a way there is a there is a mantra to get agni devta 
active there so that whenever they put any anything in the fire any havan in the fire that goes directly to the gods because that is the food of the god what is why are you putting so many things why are you putting ghee why are you putting kamal gatta why are you putting uh, uh, some wood chandan wood this wood that wood. these are the food of the god and that is where it is like they, it is given in a very uh, very wonderful very soumya way like like you are giving feeding your kid that is how you do a havan now this is a sacrificial fire and it is considered to be the messenger between god and humans now that is what i was explaining that this fire is the messenger between god and the human that okay i am giving you this because this is your food and this is how humans and gods are connected through havana the association with agni further strengthens the connection between kritika nakshatra and the element of fire so kritika nakshatra already was there and had the element of fire and that is where agni devta when he was i mean he had taken form and this is like just when the start of universe happened and that is the time this all deities were formed and it took the place in that nakshatra now the symbol of this nakshatra is knife or a blade okay kritika nakshatra is considered a fierce and transformative nakshatra and the blade symbolizes the cutting power needed to serve our ties with the past and move forward with clarity and purpose you know whenever we are born the first thing that happens to us is the umbilical cord is cut why because it it the past ties are over now it is time to move forward with a new purpose with clarity with the life which we are in and the blade is also associated with its surgical precision and the ability to make quick and decisive decisions so you know a scalpel which the doctor uses it is also considered and you know what fire is in his in his heart that he's cutting you out you cutting your heart out and that is to make quick decisions and deci- decisive decisions that oh if it is right wrong so the symbol is blade or knife if we just see all these images that oh this is knife and this is, but we don't know why it is there that is why i wanted to make this series where we discuss about each and everything about this nakshatra now kritika nakshatra is associated with deity agni uh, deity agni and who is known as the god of fire and the messenger of gods agni is said to be born from the sun and his energy and power are believed to be derived from the sun rays which i told you earlier that he was born from the fire but his nature or his powers came from the sun because sun is supposed to be full of fire okay now the kama the purushartha this this nakshatra is the kama nakshatra okay dharma kama moksha there are many these kind of purusharthas the four purusharthas here the association of bharni nakshatra is with the may be related to the oh i did not uh, i did not change this oh i will tell you what it is so here it is it is completely related to desire it is completely related to what you want from others these people are very fierce they they desire a lot of things they desire respect in return they desire they will they will care for you they have very sacrificial kind of nature but they have desire so if you are married they will desire more of bad pleasures if if you are a child mother will desire more of um, what you say attention to her so all kind of desires are seen from this nakshatra so this is wrong i have written bharni nakshatra i must have just i must have not able to paste here maybe it's my problem my mistake but yeah this is the desire nakshatra now kritika nakshatra is associated with purushartha of kama which refers to the pursuit of pleasure oh this this has come down <laughs> pleasure desire and sensual enjoyment the nakshatra associated with karma reflects its fiery and transformative nature which is believed to fuel an individual's passion drive and determination to pursue their desires very this is i think it has just come down and the gana is rakshas i told you that he is he was born as a rakshasa in that gana but because he had the power of surya brahman he became brahma rakshas okay now it is of it is of brahman varna that means the lineage is a brahman lineage the association of kritika nakshatra with brahman varna reflects a spiritual and intellectual energy which is believed to provide individual born under the nakshatra with qualities of priest scholars and spiritual leaders yes such people have lot of desires that people should follow me people should look up to me 
i will say right things they have knowledge also like deep knowledge inside them and that is why they uh, have the qualities of priest scholar or a spiritual leaders some people who invent things like new mathematicians new people who have desire to just research are comes from this nakshatra now the element is earth the association of kritika nakshatra with the earth element represents its nurturing and supportive energy which is believed to provide individuals born under this nakshatra with stability grounding and practical skills the earth element also helps to balance a ground the fiery and dynamic energy of nakshatra primary element fire without earth there is no fire every time we have to see that how uh, how the earth you know lava lava the fire the burning lava it comes from the heart of the earth so that is where kritika that is where kritika nakshatra is it is involved with the earth element now here shiva is the trimurti is the lord who actually conceived about this nakshatra so according to mythology lord kartikeya was born to the kritika sisters as a warrior and leader who would lead the gods to victory against taraka taraka sur very very famous demon lord shiva who considered the god of destruction and transformation is said to have played a significant role in the birth and upbringing of lord ka lord kartikeya now lord kartikeya was given you know the kritika sisters were in trouble and as a warrior and leader he was given the lead to kill demon taraka and that is why lord kartikeya is very much the god the because it is in our text it says that it is ruled by shiva but actually lord kartikeya has lot of influence over this nakshatra now let's come to the goat why the goat symbol the association of goat with kritika nakshatra represents the nurturing and caring nature of individuals born under this nakshatra you know whenever we see a goat with a small baby they, they look so beautiful together right and as well as their willingness to sacrifice for the greater good now listen in many many lores in many thing in 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 our hindu religion see killing of animals is not advised not good the sacrifice had a very different kind of meaning now because uh, there is eid celebrated right where a goat is been sacrificed it was said that in in a religion where the goat has to be sacrificed same way in our religion in the hindu religion in in a in a mata in the kali mata mandir uh, goat sacrifice still exists nepal was a very big hindu country but they used to sacrifice lot of goats and lots of uh, buffaloes and cows during a festival but the 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 motive for this sacrifice was a very different motive this sacrifice means the willingness to sacrifice for greater good that means i will sacrifice my life to just feed my child more so that he can eat i can nurture him nurturing is the sacrifice word here it is also aligned with earth element which reflects the grounding and nurturing energy of kritika nakshatra so very very deep meaning of sacrifice but it may be either our scholars or everything i must have taken literally that let sacrifice but overall if you sacrifice any animal a hen or goat or any x y z it is not good because their life is not ruled by you it is ruled by god himself and if you do that it is a sin now the peacock the word peacock is associated with lord kartikeya who is considered to be the presiding deity of kritika nakshatra right he is not the not the only deity is presiding deity is one of the deities and lord kartikeya is described riding a peacock in hindu mythology and the peacock is believed to symbolize his divine beauty grace and courage okay so peacock is a very very important bird for this nakshatra and now fig tree i was speaking earlier about the fig tree the fig tree is associated with lord kartikeya again who is considered to be presiding deity of kritika nakshatra lord kartikeya is said to have meditated under a fig tree and it is believed he gained enlightenment and wisdom from it so very like how under a tree lord buddha got his enlightenment so same way lord kartikeya got his enlightenment under a fig tree that is why this fig tree was a symbolic a symbolic thing for the nakshatra and as we know that each nakshatra has a particular vibration corresponding to few root alphabets and these are called the seed sounds okay and these seed sounds should be used to um uh, to name a kid so that the 
someone who has taken the seat sound is someone who knows the seat sound i use the resistance of the seat sound it's good for both of them now here again i got to varaha mera and i got to hora ratna these are the two books which are very very much 100% uh, like it it depicts the vedic astrology it says that it's a voracious eater because you know what the fire is in our stomach also so the stomach needs fire you eat food and the fire turns that food into energy okay fond of others why because desire a very strong desire of having relationships having bad pleasures fond of women such people are fond of women and if there is a woman they will be fond of men they are radiant they are very tejasvi they have they they attract you in some way they 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 want to attract you and according to hora ratna it says radiant intelligent charitable voracious eater again eating is a very very and they don't gain weight that is also a very good thing about this nakshatra they don't gain weight because sun the energy of sun the energy of agni devta it's come on, on constantly burning their metabolism always is very high they are fond of opposite sex they are sagacious skillful honorable so it's a very good nakshatra but very ugra very very difficult nakshatra to be in and again the guna is rajas that is associated with chara rashis now the strengths of this nakshatra are leadership courage determination creativity and strong convictions okay and also desire is a strength but it is a weakness also this nakshatra is very impulsive aggressive stubborn critical and restless critical because they can take any kind of action when they are angry now everyone waits for this that their planets in kritika nakshatra that how their planets are placed and how what the kritika nakshatra will give them so for sun it is believed that because sun rules this nakshatra natural leaders they have a very strong sense of purpose and they are razor sharp in things and they have very straight direction for things such people becomes a lot of very good surgeons also see ashwini and kritika nakshatra play a very important role in medical astrology so such people become very good surgeons also because they have very strong sense of purpose and direction they will not their blade will not cut in wrong ways now for moon in kritika nakshatra again people with very strong influence of moon in kritika nakshatra they have nurturing and caring nature like that of a goat and they might channel their emotion even if they have a very bad kind of emotion they are very sad or very not happy they will channel as into positive outcomes they will they will always look at the positive side of things rather than the negative side because earlier i told you that this this nakshatra is very fierce but very calm also that is why it is called a mixed nakshatra so moon and sun both are extreme here if sun that will be very aggressive is moon it will be very soumya and mars in kritika nakshatra now again mars is a very aggressive time and you know mars such people who have mars in kritika nakshatra they become athletes and they become they have courage to they fighters they do not care about any blood or any 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 sharp thing hitting them and they work with weapons so mars is the planet of action and energy and its placement in kritika nakshatra is believed to bestow individuals with quality of courage determination and assertiveness and these are the qualities of someone who fights someone who runs someone who's an olympic who is preparing for olympics such kind of people and mercury in kritika nakshatra is believed to provide individuals with intelligence communication skills and adaptability so now mercury again being the planet of intelligence wherever it sits it tries to give you intelligence through aggressiveness so these people are fanatics they will get into something they will go crazy about it to get all the information about it their communication skills may be fierce may be very bad but they will be direct razor sharp on your face they will not talk behind your back jupiter in kritika nakshatra again the jupiter is the planet of spirit wisdom and spirituality okay and here it gives a very strong sense of purpose for spiritual growth and philosophical understanding this is very important to ji where many people think that spiritual growth is just like if i do om namah shivaya or oh jai mata di no spiritual growths come from your heart come from your nature it comes from the understanding of the situation that where your spiritual you know you may even be picking up garbage from the road from your lane and that is also spiritual growth because you are nurturing mother earth there okay 
you might even be just helping someone cross the road that is spiritual growth because you showed someone a way so spiritual growth is in a very very different kind of very very different environments very very different placements for spiritual growth only taking god's name is not spiritual growth being socially responsible is spiritual growth venus in kritika nakshatra again venus is the planet of talents beauty and here it's a very good placement for venus because here many celebrities i have seen their charts and for research we see rohit ji they have venus in kritika nakshatra because it is a fiery nakshatra whenever they have to they can mold themselves into different emotions because it is mixed it is a mixed nakshatra sometimes you see a actor just crying and in the second moment he is laughing so this transformation of just this is just like fire sometimes it goes so big and sometimes it goes so so less and venus in kritika nakshatra gives artistic ability to people strong influence of venus in kritika nakshatra if it happens then they are very beautiful and they inspire others right that oh this is like i want to be like ashwarya rai i want to be like celine dion i want to be like angelina jolie you know such people this is how this nakshatra acts for you now saturn in kritika nakshatra okay here because it is a very aggressive nakshatra okay it provides you with discipline hard work and perseverance and people they have very discipline in their hard work and they are uh, they are able to achieve goal on the right time they do not go here and there they are very much in line with the achievement of their goals and rahu and ketu rahu again because intense desire for power recognition and success because this nakshatra is of power this is the powerful nakshatra and ketu here gives strong spiritual inclination and desire for inner transformation because again fire fire is transformation it is the way the medium for a human and a god to connect and you know it is really just so so it's so coincidental that whenever we want to pray to god we are using jyot that is we are burning fire we are putting diya we are putting candle we are putting agarbatti so fire that element is always there that element connects you to god so fire is a very whenever you feel sad there is something called trataka trataka is a yogic practice where you keep a, a burning candle or anything and you just look at it for nearly 45 minutes without blinking and that is very good it can reverse i power it can reverse it can increase concentration or concentration in fact the light which we are looking for when we close our eyes we can see the light in the third eye chakra so it is a very good practice trataka t r a t a k a t r a t a k a just search it trataka and if you can do it it's very simple lot of thousands of videos on youtube i get it done from our yoga teacher pallavi she teaches trataka and it is so beautiful it is guided meditation you just have to look and Um, like you cry you cry you cry your emotions are out and you are talking to god and you are there with the one it's an amazing practice so to make ketu strong trataka is a very very good practice to be done in kritika nakshatra now roj ji remedies to activate the nakshatra okay peacock feather or fig leaves fig is anjir okay anjir or peacock feather very easily available peacock feather in your keep your in your wallet to attract kritika energy and this is should be done only if kritika nakshatra is favorable for you if a good planet is sitting there and it is in your it is the lord of the 10th house the house of your career you want growth in career peacock feather you it is the lord of the 5th house you want children you want creative you want to be creative peacock feather you know so these kind of things only you need to get in touch with the learned astrologer anyone in your local area and ask them that oh, how is my kritika nakshatra and do i need to get it active for some reason remedy number 2 is again doing a havan by offering ghee to the homan that means make fire put wood in it and havan there is a very neat procedure so those people who are watching this and they don't know what havan is so just write this word h a v a n and see the procedure it is done by hindu priests and it is a way to for humans and god to Connect. Remedy number three is chanting the mantra of Lord Kartikeya, Om Saravana Bhava. Okay, this is a very great. 
yeah if i am uh, speaking it wrong because my hindi is not so good it's saravana bhava om saravana bhava om saravana bhava if you just write this word on youtube you will get thousands of uh, videos on this mantra and remedy number 4 because this is the fire fire and you know when you are working out and everything fire our fire is active in our body that is why we sweat that is performing of surya namaskar surya namaskar is again a yogic practice where there is a special way of doing it and after doing that your kritika nakshatra is very much active at that point of time so for health if you want to get your health in active if your kritika nakshatra is sitting in your 6th house or 8th house you need to get in your health to the up to the mark then you have to perform surya namaskar it will be wonderful for so roj ji here i think i must have covered everything according related to kritika nakshatra and that's all for now yes and uh, what i conclude from all your uh, explanation about kritika nakshatra that whichever planet will come in kritika nakshatra the results of that planet will enhance it will enhance like anything like you told this is a fiery thing and when we put ghee in a fire it just enhances more so this is uh, any nakshatra any planet come either it venus it enhances the qualities of venus if saturn yes, exactly. mars but so the uh, main... rohit ji there is a positive and negative side so fire also burns down your house but fire no, also is food your sure food exists yes. so there is very the, the, the depends the nature of that planet and the the power of that nature planet and the house which occupies which yeah. uh, if it's in the 6th house and if it's the fire is there your enemies will burn in fire but it is in the 8th house then your health will be up and down and why i am saying is in 6th house there is no nothing related to health because 8th house is also related to health and the 6th mm-hmm. house the natural uh, planet there is mercury and mercury will enhance your knowledge so you will not go into any stupid acts like uh, going in i'm just calling out kal purush kundli that can be many mm-hmm. it can be it is mesh rashi right okay and so it can be many many things you are telling about actually the karak bhavas of that house yeah permanent houses and uh, yes sixth house is a house of uh, enemies and loans and debts and all other things yeah. so maybe if you wrongly uh, enhance the results of sixth house maybe your enemies can also increase maybe your loans and debts can yeah. also increase so just uh, I, before doing anything just get in touch with someone and ask them can i do this remedy or not yes that's this what i mean you cannot go to a chemist and take any medicine right you have to ask yes, the doctor yes 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 there are so many medicines which are life saver but when to take how to take whom to take is told by doctor nobody can go and say okay give me this medicine and i will take that is not a discipline or say it on that yeah. anyone can take in headache so this is like the results of nakshatra and uh, very beautifully explained by you and i will uh, request you to fire the graphics of that your consultation graphics because in comments people ask so here we are talking about the doctor and astrologer in itself is a doctor and if you want to take a private consultation personal consultation you think that uh, you have such combinations you have such combination of nakshatras but you want what but why they are not giving result so getting result there are sometimes some remedies uh, if their lock is of 10 rupees or lock is of 1000 rupees lock which we put on our uh, almira and house you need one key to open that so astrology is that key which will open the good results of your birth chart so for private consultation you just drop your details on acs2channel@gmail.com or whatsapp number is displayed on the screen you also drop the details on that so you can get the personal consultation thank you kaji thank you very much and uh, we'll meet you with another nakshatras yes. g panelists of nakshatras results of that nakshatras till then thank you jai shri ram jai hanuman jai mantra om namo shivaya jai mantra ठीक है